Hello everyone, it's Anita and it's my first week of grad school. Actually, I took a class last semester, but I'm now like, officially starting. So I'm getting a master's in political science with a minor in criminal law. I'm still working, I'm doing an internship, so you will see that as well throughout the video. I'm not going to show you what I do exactly or where I work. But yeah, I'm really excited to finally start um the semester and yeah i'll try to explain everything as i go i live in switzerland i go to the university of ben i think that's all you need to know right now i'm running late so let's go <laughs> I just left work and I'm heading to the train station. Today is a bit hectic because in the evening I have another work thing. But yeah, I'm excited to go to my first lecture. I was doing some stuff for work uh, on my way to uni. That's why I have my work laptop with me. And yeah, then I arrived at my university. I had a lecture in our main building and I think that's the most beautiful building that we have. I just had a lecture on European and international criminal law. Alright, it's much later. Like I said, I had a work thing after uni. That was kind of fun. Yeah, so I didn't mind coming home that late. I came home at like 10 to 10 p.m. So yeah, that's, <laughs> that's kind of late. At uni, <laughs> there was this one person that just randomly went to my lecture and I honestly, I don't know, like every time someone shows up that's a bit different, like, I don't know. And uh, like she, asked all these weird questions like i don't know that was sort of funny but also a bit annoying because like i i'm there to learn and if someone just asks like random personal kind of questions you're not the only person in a lecture um you can ask the professor during the break or after the lecture or something if there if there's something super specific you want to know about like it's just annoying when they do that and like I could always tell when she walked in she might be a bit <laughs> interesting let's just say that I uh, like that but the prof handled very well so I'm kind of impressed and the lecture seems interesting so um yeah I'm happy uh, that I can take that. Yeah, so I'm exhausted and I just want to go to sleep. So um, talk to you tomorrow. Good morning. Uh, so I have to leave earlier today because I have physical therapy before work. I spread my ankle <laughs> um, at the end of July and I feel much better now. Um, but yeah, I need uh, physical therapy. And uh, today I don't have anything uni related because I usually have a tutorial on Tuesday but since the um, lecture that goes with that doesn't start uh, starts on Friday like the first tutorial will be on will be next Tuesday so yeah, I don't have a lecture or anything today but I will probably do something in the evening like we my notes or something like that, but I will show you everything. Uh, so I really need to go to uh, catch my bus. All right, I'm back. It was an exhausting day at work, just because I didn't get enough sleep. So yeah, you can imagine. But I'm back. I'm about to have a Zoom meeting. I'm in the society called Model UN, where we uh, simulate UN conferences. And I'm the co-president of my uni's society, I'm in society. And I just have a, so I, I just have a um, Zoom meeting with the other co-president to just discuss some things. And afterwards, I'll do something for uni. <laughs> 
Good morning, it's the next day. I'm sorry I didn't vlog that much yesterday. I had a long meeting with uh, the other co-president of the society I'm in. And so I didn't end up doing anything for uni. But today is um, a uni day. I took off work. And I usually would work in the afternoon. Uh, but not today. I just took a day off because I also have to run some errands afterwards. But... Um, so today I have a lecture called Policy Analysis 2 and uh, I'm really excited. I will have to do some reading on the train. All right, let's go. After my policy analysis 2 class, I went to another building, so that's why I had to walk. And I just had a lunch there and then I went to the library. That's my favorite library. I uh, had to pick up some books that I reserved. I'm taking the Doll C1 exam, so that's why I have uh, two books um, to help me study for that. And so then I went through my notes from Monday's lecture and I also listened to the recordings um, because I missed some infos. Alright, so now I'm just going to the train station, going home. Oh well, I have to run some errands first in my hometown. I have a chill I got a goodie bag. It's full of food and drinks. That's nice. In the first week, they always hand out these kinds of bags. So if you're there at the right time, yeah, get one. I'm at home, I changed to something more comfortable and I just had dinner, my mom made pizza, so that was a nice surprise. I didn't talk to you that much today uh, just because there were a lot of people behind me so I didn't really feel comfortable vlogging. I quickly want to talk about the lecture I had today. The lecture is called Policy Analysis Two. Like the name suggests, uh, it's about policy analysis. So we have a two-hour lecture. And there's a break in between, but yeah, it's just like two lessons. And the third lesson, so the third hour, is a tutorial where we get to practice what we just learned. It's just like an exercise we did. Um, we have to do each week in a classroom, like it's not... Like, no, no, it's not homework or anything like that. So I enjoyed this class. I like how, like the teaching style of the lecture. Um, there are actually two lectures and one, what you call her, like the person that does the tutorial. But yeah, I'm, uh, I think I will learn a lot in this class. So that's great. Actually, I usually have another class right after that one, but um, it will start next week. And that class is called Policy Analysis 1, <laughs> so uh, Wednesday is my Policy Analysis Day, I guess. That's also something I'm looking forward to during my master's degree, because I didn't take Policy Analysis classes in my bachelor's degree. And I think that is a important part of political science. Yeah, there's not a lot to say. I fell asleep two times. I almost fell asleep two times uh, on the train. Uh, <laughs> I am, I don't know, like, I'm tired. So I'm just going to have a relaxed evening or something on Netflix probably. So I'll talk to you tomorrow. All right, it's the next day. I'm working the whole day. So I will just vlog something in the evening when I go to my uni to go to the kickoff event of the society that I'm in. Hopefully that will be fun. And yeah, otherwise there's not really, there's not a lot I can show you today. So this club is uh, on the train when I left work. I was still doing some stuff for work. 
and then I arrived at uni and prepared for the presentation. Afterwards, uh, we had some snacks and drinks. That was fun. All right, it's the next day. Today I have two classes, criminalistics and um, advanced methods in data analysis. Yeah, yeah, I'm excited. Let's go. On the train, I created a study set on Quizlet for my European and criminal law class. I was a bit early so I grabbed some breakfast and had it outside. I'm showing you a bit more of the main building. Like I said before, I think it's the most beautiful one. And then I went to class, so I had my criminalistics class. Each week there's another topic. Today was about environmental crimes and crimes against animals. So that was an interesting lecture. I'm now trying to make it to my next one. I have to walk to another green building. <laughs> it takes about 10 minutes. I made it to my lecture, uh, like I said in the morning, it's about advanced methods in data analysis. I can't really say a lot about it, um, it's just, it was just the first class. Then I had lunch and afterwards I went to the library. I was just going through my notes and creating study sets on Quizlet. So this is my favorite cafe in Ben. It's a vegan cafe and I have so many delicious pastries and I have coffee and sandwiches and so much. So I highly recommend this cafe and on my way home I started another book. Uh, it's also second hand. Alright, I'm home. I have been home for a while. I just didn't do anything. I was just uh chilling with my dogs and talking to my mom so yeah i didn't do anything uni related um i think i'm going to end the vlog here i hope you found this interesting and i will do like more uni vlogs in the future maybe just some um, one day but more in detail yeah just let me know what you want to see um or your curious about yeah i don't think there's anything to add thank you so much for watching if you haven't subscribed it would make my day if you did that see you in my next video bye